to my home office tour hey guys this is ellie from ears to ever after and today we are going to do a quick home office tour it's very disneyed out um tinkerbell's over there being silly and i thought it would be fun to just kind of show you guys what's going on in my office and how i decorate it I apologize in advance today. I am not feeling terribly well, so if you hear some sniffles or some heavy breathing in the background, it is because I am all plugged up and my sinuses are killing me. So I apologize in advance, but um, let's, but I really wanted to get this video up and running and up there for you because I did promise it this week. So I wanted to go ahead and get that done. And um, I'm feeling well enough now. Um, I was sick all week, so I'm feeling well enough now where I think I can get it filmed for you. So we are going to zoom out a little bit. So this is the entrance to my office. So here are the doors, um, a mirror. And when you walk in, this is what you see, my gallery wall. And then I'm turning here to the left and I'll just back out here. And the first thing that you see when you walk in is my ear wall and my pin wall. So the ears over here, these three here, are from the Disney parks. I got those, um, those ones on shopdisney.com or yeah, whatever, the Disney store online. And then the rose gold pair I got at Disneyland, the millennial pink I got at Disney World, the Starbucks ears, I got those from Ears by Emma on Etsy. And then we have the three honeycomb shelves I got at Five Below. On the first shelf up here, I have the I Run on Disney and Caffeine. I have a frame with an Erin Condren quote in it that says, What is meant to be will always find a way. And then I have a cute little hedgehog with a succulent in him and I got him at five below as well. Up here I have a Starbucks ornament from the Czech Republic. I have a Hamilton shot glass that says I am not throwing away my shot. I have a Mickey Mouse run Disney vinyl mission and I got him after I finished Wine and Dine in 2014. And then I have a little Tinkerbell thing that came with paper clips from the Disney store. And I really like that. Then over here on the slash shelf, I have a Lennox Bell statue. I've got a essential oil diffuser up here. I have a little elephant over here, and he is facing the doorway. He came from India. My best friend got him for me. And he is a protector, so he's watching the door. My Tiffany & Co. mug. It's made out of um, ceramic and then my 2013 Vinylmation of Mickey that I got uh, when I ran Princess in 2013. Then over here I have these prints. One of them says home is where the castle is. The other says meet me at the purple wall and the third one says I'd rather be at Disney and I got these printables off of Etsy. Up here these four ear or these three ears actually are my uh, little shop of magic ears. So my friend Celeste made those these three pairs for me 
and um, I do have a code because I am a brand rep for her so if you do visit her shop it is Lil Shop 20 for 20% off your order and um, she's moving platforms so some big things are coming for her and she's about to drop a Christmas collection so go check her out she's wonderful and then the last pair of Louis Vuitton ears I also bought off Etsy but I'm not sure I forget which shop I got those on so then here is my pin wall I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so up here the pins I have are a conservation pin, some pins from when I took the Disney College of Knowledge when I was a travel agent, um, a Disney Pirates Princess pin over there in the right corner. I've got an Alani pin, Jasmine, um, Dale, Chip, Chipperdale. I'm really bad at Chippendale. I love Chippendale, but I always forget who's who, so bad Chippendale fan. Bell. I've got a D23 compass pin. I've got a Fantasyland or a new Fantasyland grand opening pin over in the corner there. I've got some Halloween pins from the Halloween party. I've got a food and wine festival pin. Some pins of all the resorts that we've stayed at. Um, some pins from like visits and the conservation effort at Animal Kingdom. A DVC pin. Some wedding pins. Another Alani pin another conservation pin and then I have this really cute my happy place um, ornament on the back it says the most magical place on earth some race pins and just some other random pins here so really cool I love all my little pins then I'll zoom back out and over here I just have my gallery wall so some pictures of my husband and I from Disney and our wedding and then I got this really cool this backstage thing at Burlington Coat Factory that thing was huge and it's heavy but it's beautiful because I also really love New York City and Fashion Week and all that kind of cool stuff sorry about my phone going off um, but I love New York City it's one of my other favorite destinations to visit in the United States um, along with Nashville and Philly are some of my favorite places in the States to visit and then some wedding pictures. Then I have um, some Disney art and some Louis Vuitton art here. And on my computer desk, I've got another Etsy purchase that says a little, um, there's nothing a little Starbucks and Disney can't fix. The frame I got at Hobby Lobby. And then um, this one here is just a little DVC window cling. And the frame is a little mirror dollar store frame so that's what that is and i am going to silence my cell phone because it's going crazy then i have a little stitch over here he holds post-it notes i love this thing it's so cute um but that's stitch and that was from the disney store here locally then i have a dvc frame um a candle holder from Bath and Body Works and the current candle that's in there that's actually almost empty. I need to put a new candle in there for the season. Probably a Christmas scented one. Um, but the one I have in there now is Black Cherry Merlot and that is my favorite scent from um, Bath and Body Works. Then I've got my computer. It's just a MacBook, uh, iMac 27 inch. And then I did get a better keyboard because I don't like the Apple keyboard. My mouse pad from Erin Condren. That was a Christmas gift from my mom last year. And then over here, I have my planner, which is a Louis Vuitton Agenda GM. My phone in a folio case. A Starbucks cup is my pen holder. And then over here, I have a butt first coffee sign from Marshalls. And then a photo frame that says, you were, you're, you mermaid for me. And it's just a picture of my husband and I at California Grill and then the lamp is from Marshall's as well and that's a Kate Speed lamp. Then over here I have and this is actually supposed to go down here I don't know why it moved but um then over here I have my little shelf I've got my Louis Vuitton Neo Noé with a vintage bandolier strap on it my um, Hermes scarf that I actually got at an auction for way cheaper than a normal Hermes scarf costs. So that was a lucky find. I did have it authenticated. So um, 
yeah, I got it at a charity auction. So win-win, Hermes scarf, and I support a charity. So it worked out well. Over here I have just a Louis Vuitton lookbook from the summertime. I have um, a Disney Dooney and Burke Haunted Mansion purse. Then I have a Beauty and the Beast pop vinyl and then a Haunted Mansion wishable. On the shelf below I just have our honeymoon ears from when we honeymooned at Disney in 2012 next to our wedding photo and that is in a Beauty and the Beast wedding frame. Then my DVC welcome kits down there. And then down on the bottom shelf I just have a couple of knickknacks, um, both of my wine glasses from the two races that I ran, some Disney princess ears, a um, Disney scented Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know why it's not focusing, I apologize, um, a Pirates of the Caribbean um, candle called the Black Pearl from Spire Side Candles, my Disney Coach wristlet box, and then, sorry, the camera cut out there, <laughs> um, and then I have a Josh Groban um, little collage from the two times that I was able to meet him in 2013 and 2015. So then we'll come over here and on this little table here I have just a couple of chakra candles. Um, the first one is gerani geranium and mint and then the second one is sandalwood and rose and um, sacral and root. I got those at five below. They smell really good and um, I like what they stand for. So one is for creativity and confidence. The other is for energy and productivity. Then I have this cute little water fountain. It's not turned on right now, but um, it's just a really relaxing little water fountain. Then I have my popcorn, Disney Parks popcorn Halloween balloon bucket. Um, that was a Halloween decoration, so I'll probably switch that out for a different one um, now that Halloween is over. And then I have this little plaque that says a girl should be two things, who and what she wants, and Coco Chanel said that. Over here is just where my silhouette lives and where some of my old school books live and my laminator lives because I do laminate a lot of stuff for my planner. My Amazon smart speaker is there. And then this Louis Vuitton inspired cup, I actually made this. Um, with glitter and epoxy so this is my first attempt at a glitter tumbler so I will try to make probably make a couple more of those maybe some Disney themed ones we'll see then over here in my little corner I just have this really amazing candle that my parents got me for my birthday a couple weeks ago it's got Bell and Beast on it the woman handcrafted this candle so I'm gonna get um, a little light to put under the bottom of it so I don't have to burn it then I have um, the poison apple that I got from Disney World and it's supposed to have a candle in it but the candle died so I gotta get a new one. I might keep that out all year, it's really cute so we'll see. Or I might put a Christmas tree here for the season. Then I have a little salt shaker from Food and Wine. Over here I have just a, um, a little drawer set that I found at Marshall's that was marble that kind of matched the theming in here on top of that. I have um, a handcrafted couples that Disney together stay together and this actually lights up but we borrowed the extension cord for the Christmas tree um, so it won't light up for a little while in here. Um, I bought that from a craft fair vendor. This is a little trinket tray from Croatia that a friend of mine got me the last time she went over there and she knows how much I love Croatia so she brought it back for me. And then I have a Lily Pulitzer box that I put in a Disney photo in because I thought it would make a cute picture frame. Here are my Alex and Ani, um, Alex and Ani, Ikea Alex drawers. <laughs> and in here is my planner stickers and things for my planners and basically all my crafting and stationery stuff. There's Tinkerbell. Yes. Um, so yeah, I got that at Ikea. I think it was like 65 or $70. Um, yes, the cold medicine is talking for sure right now. Then I have my Disney Princesses poster that is framed. Up here I have um, my world corkboard and I have just some Disney Princess ornaments 
pinned up. I've got this really cute picture of me in a stormtrooper because I love it. I've got a magnet that is not magnet. It ties to anything <laughs> that says I am a glamper, not a camper. And I got that last year when we stayed at Wilderness Lodge at Copper Creek. I have a Lily Pulitzer keychain and a little decal that I made that says 1,239.6 miles to Magic Kingdom. And then up here, I have um, all the four Disney parks represented. I took all of these photos and then I just framed them. They're five by sevens. So I wanted all of the park icons represented. And then I have another pair of Louis Vuitton inspired ears from Etsy. And then over here, as you can see, I have my futon. Um, that little bear my husband got me for Valentine's Day. And then the dirty bear over here I have had since I was four years old. Then I've got an Erin Condren photo blanket that I got um, for Christmas a few years ago. Uh, my hubby uh, snuck behind me back and ordered that for me with some of my favorite pictures. So um, actually, I think it was maybe last year. Or the Yeah, I think it was last year, actually. Then I have a Disney Sleep Repeat pillow from the Disney Store. I Can't Even from At Home. And then But First coffee then over here is just another shelf from Ikea I don't know what this is called but they do sell it um, still in Ikea I got it earlier this year I have my very first Disney Dooney and Burke this is the Mickey balloons print and like I said this was my very first Dooney and Burke that I ever got from Disney I love this pattern it's still to this day one of my favorites then I have some Aladdin Jasmine mugs. I have a couple of Zoom Zooms. I have a pass holder mug, my DVC Magic Band, and then the box from my Starbucks um, mug. Here I have some lotions and then my Hermes scarf boxes back there. And then, so these are some of my favorite lotions and a couple candles and then a couple of essential oils. Down here is my Disney Dooney and Burke Beauty and the Beast bag. I love this bag. I don't wear it though because this leather is so easily scratched. So she is just a decoration. Yeah, here you can you can't really make it out, but there's a bunch of scratches in here. So yeah, that brown leather scratches very easily. So I only wear this out maybe once a year or so um once every six months maybe because i just don't want to ruin it and i love it so much and it's like my favorite shape of bag and i just i, I can't <laughs> i can't bear to to ruin it or have it get dirty or scratched up so it lives there then i have a bunch of little knickknacks my little um star wars um, de thermal detonator diet coke bottle, a little plaque that says coffee than the world, a couple coasters from Ogus Cantina, and then some vinyl mations. Down here I have a Disney Princess um, pen holder. The candle is from an Erin Condren seasonal surprise box and then the Beauty and the Beast rose cup that people lost their minds over um, is down there. And then I have a couple of Really pretty stacked boxes down here. Lily Pulitzer is the top pink one, and then the other two are from Michaels. Over here, I've got a couple of designer candles, um, two Kate Spade ones over here. I've got my Tiffany and Co. box with my Tiffany that I got my Tiffany bracelet in. I've got my Disney Princess Half Marathon ears on top of Cinderella's carriage. And then because I live in New York, I have this really cute New York coaster that I use as decoration. And then I've got Mrs. Potts from the reanimated, or from the uh, reimagined Beauty and the Beast movie, the live action one. Then over here, I've got some ears. Um, the front pair is from Little Shop of Magic. The two back pairs I actually made by hand. Then up here I have a Chanel box and Disney Christmas ears that I got from the Disney Parks. Up here is my um, Tiffany box that I got 
the two mugs in. Um, it came as a set. They were, um, I believe it cost $100 for the two cups. And then I have these two koozies from Etsy, from Neverland koozies. They're wonderful. And then up here I just have some more Disney stuff, um, a cookie container. And then I have a Louis Vuitton box from when I got one of my Louis Vuitton pieces. The little horse uh, deer thing here is a print that we got when we went to Mexico in 2018 they gave that to us our tour company gave that to us as a little gift um when we took a tour of the chichen itza so that was really cute and then i have an hermes perfume box then i have a rose gold erin condren ornament a cinderella movie still um poster thingy that my sister-in-law got me for christmas um several years back then over here, um, I have a couple of photos that I just have hung on my closet door that my husband made me out of, um, he made wood prints. So, and then a pair of Beauty and the Beast ears. Over here is now we're getting into my vanity. So this little cubby here, I have a lot of makeup and a lot of makeup cases. My yoga mat, a Beauty and the Beast little jewelry box, and then a Disney on Ice mug. Then over here I have a card that uh, my in-laws gave me for my birthday, my bougie ass skincare fridge, and I'll just open it up and give you a little tour. So I've got um, just some skincare items in here and then some face masks. Over here is my makeup brushes. I have a memory card over there, I don't know why, so mostly my tools for putting my makeup on. This is a lot of my non-palette makeup that I have here. Then I have some skincare. Then there's me over here. And then I have a photo frame of me and a few of my Disney friends. And that frame I actually made myself. And then this is stuff I need to put away. So I just got this yesterday, the Disney Midnight Masquerade from ColourPop. I got that at Ulta. And then I have my um, essential oils that I got from Amazon. And I just need to find a place for them. Over here, I have a drink coffee, cuddle dog, sip wine, repeat. My friend got that me for me for Christmas last year. And then I got the little genie. Um, he was supposed to go on one of my purses, but he kept falling off. So now he lives there a little hanging succulent it is not real it is plastic i have a black thumb so i only buy fake plants some makeup and then up here on this shelf up here i have a box this one was the january or winter erin condren seasonal surprise box i just really like the box so i kept it my louis vuitton speedy 35 is up there my other Tiffany, the second Tiffany & Co. mug. Um, this is, um, it says Disneyland on it, so that was the tear-off on my Disneyland ticket from when I went last spring. And then my Haunted Mansion, Dooney & Burke. My Louis Vuitton favorite MM, Lumiere, um, from the um, new collection at Disney. An Aladdin um, cup from when I went and saw Aladdin in the theaters. And then my DVC Disney Dooney and Burke. And that really is my entire home office. I am not going to go through the closet because it is a mess in there. And it is just not worth going through there. But I do have just a bunch of bags and travel stuff and all that kind of good stuff. And all my craft stuff is in my closet too, so that doesn't fit in the Alex drawers. So this is an overview of my office. Right here, Tinkerbell's wandering around, and then I have this really cute pink rug that I got for just a few dollars on Amazon. Little one wants to be in the video, so there she is. Say hi, Tinkerbell. She's like, no, Mom. And that's her little bed over there, too. So yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys. As always, subscribe. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and we will see you in our next one. Bye.